I, 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 we got Mike Korzimba. Caitlin Clark hate has finally gone too far. She's still getting hate. The Caitlyn Clark hate has officially. I'm still hating on Caitlyn Clark. 2024 going in 2025. Gotten out of control. Dang. We should be debating whether Caitlyn Clark. What did she do to you? During the best rookie season in WNBA history, but instead, we have seen three-time MVP Cheryl Swoops officially induct herself into the Hater Hall of Fame. <coughs> As it was reported Hall of by Fame. Stephen A. Smith that Cheryl Swoops was supposed to. Who said that? Who was? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's, that's false. Stephen A. Smith, don't listen to Stephen A. Smith, bro. He talking about his story. Who are your sources, bro? You got to cite your sources. I got in trouble for school for not citing my sources. You got to cite your sources, bro. Come on. Commentate an Indiana Fever game against Dallas, but instead was pulled from commentating the game because the network did not think that Cheryl Swoops was going to praise Caitlin Clark's recent earned success and instead. No, they don't count. No, that's not credible. Stephen A. Smith not a credible source, bro. He, he's not Woj. He's not Shams. He's not Wendy hate on her how have we gotten to the point where networks are removing hall of fame commentators from talking about caitlin clark and does the I don't believe it. not realize that with all of this hate they could be truly damaging their sport as what's up mike here and when you have a generational talent like caitlin clark who is also seen as an all-time fan favorite you have the opportunity to truly launch your sport to heights it's yeah. never seen the nigga NBA you can make way more money than y'all yeah Teammate, wait, y'all, way more money. Y'all can be equal paid like the NBA players. Whoop de doo! In dire financial trouble, the NBA once aired its finals on tape delay. Now, NBA franchises are worth billions of dollars, and the league's rise in popularity can be attributed to one thing its star players. First, we had Magic and Bird, then we had Michael Jordan, then Kobe Bryant, LeBron James, Steph Curry, and now the NBA is on the Victor Wembenyama hype train. It seems the NBA understands the formula take a star player and promote him to the world and watch the fans pour in. The WNBA has the blueprint in front of them so we have to ask why the caitlin clark hate i think we can all agree here if this was a star because he plays in indiana that's why the nba who only gave wholesome press conference answers all the time while also playing at a historic level the nba media would call that man the next face of the league meanwhile espn recently put angel reese ahead of caitlin clark in their rookie of the year race in a clear attempt to make headlines and draw clicks and attempt that does nothing to help women's basketball and the problem is people are falling for this bait let's be clear here caitlin clark in the WNBA right. has been a phenom in her first year she is currently averaging 18.9 points a league leading 8.4 assists she's leading the leading assist okay per game she currently sits fifth all time in assists per game <laughs> she just gave it to the lead yes fifth all time in wmba history all about one woman i'm in a there's all one woman She's the only. <laughs> it's all about one woman. Assists per game in a single season. Yes, fifth all time in WNBA already all history. A famer. And the only woman to ever average more assists in a single year is Courtney Vandersloot. So no disrespect to Angel Reese, who has been a rebounding fiend. But in terms of the Rookie of the Year race, ESPN is literally making this narrative up. If we follow the money, which never lies, we find that DraftKings has Caitlyn at a minus three thousand favorite to win Rookie of the Year, which means. If you were to bet $10 on Caitlin Clark to win Rookie of the Year, you would make 30 cents in profit. AKA, this award is a wrap. The media might lie, Vegas' odds never do. But guys, before we continue, I'm very excited to say that... Today's video, and now let's get back into today's video. So we know that Caitlin Clark is going to win Rookie of the Year. The question is, why are people pretending otherwise? She kind of got that Lonzo jumper. She got that Lonzo jumper a little bit, but it's not all the way over to the left. She has it backed over to like the left side of her chin. Lonzo had it all the way over here to the left, his left shoulder. Came through with this raw on his right side, but Caitlin Clark, her, she look, I look, look at her jump shot. Her jump shot is like by her left chin. She starts out by the left, then she goes to the right. Uh -oh. But when he came to the league, but it's not as crazy. His elbow is not, his elbow is not out like this. Hers is in, hers is in, but it's still on her left side like Lonzo's. Answer that makes that sense. Question. If that all makes sense. Is simple. Evans takes the three, takes the two. <laughs> what the hell? From Reese on Clark underneath. Kennedy Carter now. Oh, that's crazy. Oh, yeah, that's crazy. The one, Angel Reese one wasn't crazy. That's crazy. I, I think that's going to 
be a flagrant one. Jealousy. Stephen A says that in a media world filled with former players, a lot of these former players are jealous of Caitlyn and it's hard to find another reason. As right now, Caitlyn Clark is truly showcasing a Ooh, transcendent game at the up. highest level. Caitlyn isn't just a logo three-point shooter. On July 6th, I know she can Clark, dunk. She would be playing. I know Caitlyn Clark can dunk, bro. Come on. I know one time she's gonna get a steal and a dunk it on a fast break. One hand. You know what I'm saying? What's the one hand uh, 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 rim grazer? I know y'all can do some rim grazers. Stop it. I know they can do some rim grazers. Come on now. On July 6th, Clark took the court against the best team in the East, the New York Liberty. Got the trip, put up 19 points, 13 assists, and 12 rebounds in a five point statement win. This stat line gave Caitlin the first triple double by a rookie in WNBA history. She's making history. And she wasn't done there. As on September 4th, Clark was at it again, giving us 24 points, 10 assists, 10, 10. and 10 rebounds against the Los Angeles Sparks. Is a rookie. For triple double number two. Meaning, as a rookie, Caitlin Clark has already become one of just six players in WNBA. NBA history to have at least two triple doubles. Dang! The record for What's the record for different doubles in WNBA? A single career is 10 held by Alyssa Thomas, meaning that Caitlin Clark is already one fifth of the way to the all time record. Speaking of records, Caitlin has also been a record machine in general. She has the most three pointers. She's looking like me on 2K. Dang. Rookie, the most total assists by a rookie. The most assists by any player in a single game ever with 19 against Dallas. These are once in a generational type stat lines I'm talking about. So truly, we have to ask ourselves. Instead of all the negative conversations that have been had around Caitlin Clark, why are we not talking more about is this the best rookie season in WNBA history? Is Caitlin Clark on path to become the best player in WNBA? And Andrew Reid break any record, before, break some records the NBA too. Was built off I'm gonna rebound record. Marketable stars and Caitlin Clark is as marketable as they. But they come. said she misses her layups on purpose to get her rebounds. She is a freak of nature as a shooter. Her game is electrifying. She literally embarrasses players as a one woman highlight reel. She also off the court is humble, takes the high road, is always seen giving autographs to young fans. Not to mention she fills up the stat sheet and she is a winner. So what truly is the problem? If the WNBA just embraced that they had an all time talent on their hands right now, they could put a plan in place that would draw in lifelong fans and a new generation of girls who will be much more like she gotta to do a she, look, she gotta do like i said she gotta do a rim grazer one hand rim grazer hey i'm like all right all right, all right we need to mark her all right all right everyone stop hating she just need to dunk the ball once everyone will stop hating follow in their favorite players footsteps making this i know it sounds crazy but that might be that might work it might work instead though we've seen a lot of dirty fouls we have seen a lot of pettiness in post-game interviews and just in general caitlin clark is always in the headlines with some form of controversy as the main talking point when again people are really just hating on true greatness here because throughout all of WNBA history the list of rookies who have averaged at least 18 points eight assists and five rebounds per game is just one Caitlin Clark this gets better the list of players who have averaged at least 18 points eight assists and five rebounds per game in general is just one Caitlin Clark what if we were to lower our requirements to 15 points four rebounds and three assists per game in a single season we finally have a list of names to go off of as in their rookie years tamika catchings candace parker brianna stewart diana tarasi and sabrina Yonef all hall of famers they all hall of famers a future hall of famers let's go are the only six players in wnba history to put up these stats in year one that is an absolutely elite list as every one of these players other than caitlin and sabrina have been a wnba mvp and if sabrina's career continues along the way it's been going every single player on this list is going to be a WNBA Hall of Famer or already is one. The biggest difference between said that, all Mike. these names, Caitlin Clark is the first mega star off the court the WNBA has ever had. In 2022, the women's NCAA final brought in an average of 4.85 million viewers. In Caitlin's senior season, 2024, 18.88 million viewers watched her end her career against South Carolina. Yeah, 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 yeah. WNBA, y'all about to take advantage of this. Million viewers than the men's game. Hey, I'm about to take advantage this of this. Where NBA. Team USA truly messed up. The Caitlin Clark effect at the Olympics would have been tremendous. In the WNBA, this is why Stephen A. Smith, the chance I was telling, uh, uh, I think her name is Andrea Carter on ESPN, that she should have been on the Olympic team for market, for um, yeah, marketability. The viewership effect has been the but same. But she didn't meet the criteria. So to me, that's no, there's no wrong answer here. 
it's a win-win situation for everyone. Indiana Fever have been. There's no wrong answer to that. Of the league's 14. They were arguing about a whole bunch of nothing. Year, and the WNBA All Star Game set record numbers with over triple the amount. Yeah, she's a rookie, but I see why you have her on the team. There's like there's no wrong answer. Smooth survival skills. Hello. Mike, you talking about Instagram? I know you use Instagram. Four. There has been one difference. It is Caitlin Clark. Bro, I tell you, she got that Lonzo ball jumper, bro. But it's this. It's not. And you say it's not as. It's not. It's not like this. Like cut like this. It still goes from left to right. She there shoots like Lonzo ball, bro. When he first came to the NBA. Different. But it's not as crazy. Cause look, the ball is on the left side. Then she flings it over to the right, like Lonzo. It is Caitlin Clark. But despite the fact that Caitlin actually won three gold medals representing the United States in lower age brackets throughout her career already, Caitlin Clark was not asked to the Olympics. And, and it's kind of quicker too. To imagine that the women's game. Because Alonzo, like I said, Alonzo's his shot start all the way over here. If y'all guys can see it, all the way over here. Damn, moved over to the left. Caitlin, her starts from right, right here, and she goes over to the right. Out on so they have like the same motion style, and that makes sense. The views as that is normally what Caitlin pulls in. The WNBA could have had a situation where fans came to watch Caitlin. Team USA could have had a situation where fans came to watch Caitlin, <laughs> and while they were watching, Caitlin found a new favorite player. Oh, she got a block. The WNBA. How tall she? Like six feet. Playing, but the league chose not to grow their game, even though picking Caitlin. What's considered a shooting guard in the WNBA? Like six six a stretch at all the indiana fever started their season at one and eight but currently or is she like a, a big point guard and just clinched a spot in the playoffs this is indiana's first playoff appearance since 2016 which is Dang! Because indiana was currently tying the record for worst playoff drought in wmba history and also before yeah Caitlin give it Clark to her give it to her bro yeah give it to her she got the stats she got it. her team is winning her teams in the playoffs yeah give it to her this franchise they were in shambles they haven't been to the they haven't been to the they haven't been to the playoffs since 1982 bro they get killing card they go to the playoffs what do you do not only were they in the middle of a seven-year playoff drought in those seven seasons the fever had a combined record of 58 and 149 and in 2021 indiana went six and 26 and followed that up with a five and 31 record in 2022 this year indiana is in the playoffs and what's even more exciting is that caitlin is already starting to play like one of the best players in the WNBA. in june in 11 games caitlin averaged 15.6.1 rebounds and 7.2 assists 15 6 7 41 percent shoot respectable numbers but as she has adjusted to the wnba game she has taken a massive leap as in the eight games she has played between august and september caitlin is averaging 24.5 points 9.1 assists and 5.6 rebounds per game on 48 percent shooting truly elite numbers as we head into the playoffs and so we have to think you should have dunked that caitlin you should have dunked it could have dunked it should have dunked it so thank you for watching i hope it's you an all-star game video. if you are new to the channel make sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications that way you never miss a video and i want to know what do you think down below is caitlin clark going to be the goat of the wmba and if you're still here i think you're going to really enjoy this video in the top left corner on the most important trade of the 2024 nba all, all right shout out mike don't hate just appreciate